Thank you for listening to Read BBS. Read BBS. BBS. We're not going to miss words this time. Why Devin Haney should beat Vasil Lomachenko. I repeat, why Devin Haney should beat Vasil Lomachenko. Let's break it down. Tangibles, intangibles. Swan diving right into it. Uh, Devin Haney is hungry. Devin Haney is ambitious. He feels like he was born for this. Like this is the natural order of things. Pay-per-view headliner versus a legendary fighter. Uh, yeah, yeah. He feels like that. That's that's how it should be. That's how it's supposed to be. He's been harping on the four years theme. Four years. Four years. We've been prepared for him for four years. The tables have turned. If he had the belts, he wouldn't fight me. He should have fought me then. Made me wait all this time for those belts. We ain't friends. He's been harping on that. Now, granted, there was really no incentive for Loma to fight him four years ago. But, hey, in Dev's mind, it's the four-year factor. And it's fueling him in this case. He's mentioned it in practically every interview that I've seen that he's had in the buildup. Confidence. We can call it supreme confidence. We can call it irrational confidence. Whatever. Dev and Bill Haney have been pretty dismissive of Lomachenko's chances of beating him. And believing is half of it. Believing is half the battle. Hell, the only sliver of credit they give Loma is uh, they say he gives Devin the validation of being pound for pound. They at least give him that. Along with that, uh, they're mixing in quotes like, uh, I'm going to run him over. I'm just better than him. Whatever he brings, it won't be enough. Going to make him look average. Going to make him look ordinary. He's going to make for an easy night. I'm going to embarrass him. The warrant has been served. Vasil Lomachenko will be sentenced. I mean, I can't say I've ever heard a fighter and or his team speak so boldly about Loma. And I, I'm including Tiafimo Lopez Sr. and Jr. when I say that. Not this boldly. But we'll see, man. Now, on some tangible hands-on boxing shit. I mean, it's obvious. This is the most obvious. It's the size, the strength, the youth. It's all clearly with Dev. Uh, Speed and athleticism very well could be advantages also. But me personally, I like to uh, actually see two fast guys in the ring together first before definitively stating who I think is faster. Dev just may, he may indeed be faster. And he's younger, but I need to see them in the ring together first before saying that unequivocally. Uh, the height advantage is listed at 5'8 for Dev to 5'7 for Loma. Nah, that's not accurate. It's more of, it's more than an inch. It's more like three inches. Dev's like probably closer to 5'10, 5'9 and a half than 5'8. They're uh, damn near a half a foot reach advantage for Dev. He's a younger man by 11 years or 10 years and some months. He's 24, Loma's 35. I mean, it goes without saying, size matters. They have weight classes for a reason. And quite frankly, Devin Haney looks like he's in a different weight class than Lomachenko just physically. Uh, Another reason, probably the biggest reason, the jab. Devin Haney has one of the absolute best jabs in the game. One of the best jabs in the game. And he serves it up however you like. Special order. Uh, made to order. He can give you the ice cream paint job with the jab. He probes with the jab. He can throw the power jab. He can stick you to the body with the jab. And along with that, Dev fires accurate crosses and hooks off the jab. Jab, jab, jab. He sets everything, everything up off the jab. Low key. Now, low key, Dev has weathered some adversity also. Hey, y'all can't hold round 10 against Linares 
against Dev without giving him credit for surviving the round and surviving the remainder of the fight to bring home the win. He still won the fight, so you got to give him credit for weathering that bit of a storm. Uh, he beat George Ferocious Cambosis twice in his backyard, traveled abroad to another continent two times, two times for the undisputed lightweight championship. And in the second fight, Dale was cut along his right eye. So he's weathered pockets of adversity and came out on the other side. So, yeah, man, undisputed lightweight champion, a uh, record of 29 and 0, 15 KOs. He's a minus 260 favorite to beat Lomachenko for a reason. And those reasons I just laid out for you. Now, uh, I, I don't know. We, we may do a Loma video. I, I don't know. Just we'll see how the mood hits me. If it hits me. But those are my thoughts for now. Can't wait for this fight, man. Read BBS. BBS. Blackbird Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Television. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.